So this video is about the home screen for the drone link. So when you get your drone link app, now if you watch my video on the costs, that'll tell you about how much it's all going to cost you. Um, and there's a few different plans. I would just get the premium one. Um, anyway, once you've downloaded that, what I will say, guys, when you feel using it for your Mini Free Pro, what you will need to do is make sure you have the Drone Link DJI app loaded as well. So when you drone, when you download the Drone Link app, go into the app itself, and you will get to another link that will download the Drone Link DJI app. Now, in a previous video I'd done, because I had to buy this tablet, which is watching it on now, um, with a bit of a plug, because I've got a Samsung Galaxy, and you had to install a APK installer for all that to work. Anyway, watch that video. Anyway, let's get on to the actual home screen. So this is what you're going to get and see. Now, if your um, device that you'll be using, it be it your phone or your tablet, you may get this come up as well, which what it's saying really is, is just your device is insufficient. It'll still work. I had, I had a really old phone. Um, I went out and did the test flight with my Mini 3 Pro. We did a, a basic waypoint mission uh, with a point of interest, and it worked fine. But I, I have to be honest, I think when I tried to do the circle, it didn't work. The follow worked okay. So just bear that in mind if you want to use a drone link a lot more, especially for your Mini 3 Pro. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around the screen to the top where it says drone link and you've got the three dashes. If we just click on that, it's all pretty self-explanatory. You've got your language, your unit system. Now, I'm, I'm a fleet and inches man. I've got Imperial. You've got the theme. I've got one on dark. Orientation, landscape, because this will be plonked on top of your RCM1. So that's why I got landscape. Mission planner, I'll just click on that so you get an idea what you're going to see on your mission planner. So this is a place where I tend to fly a lot. Um, and if you, if you notice, I can move about with my finger on the screen there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cross that off a minute. We just go back into drone link. Um, so the top right is to cancel it. Uh, also, what's quite good, you've got some aids there about to learn it, um, and also some tutorials as well, which is a pretty good idea. Um, and then it's obviously if you want to upgrade, and then you've got the usual stuff at below about privacy. So to come out of that, you just click at the side. So over the top right-hand corner, you see where it says dashboard. And this is where you've got to get a picture of your drone. So I'm not connected at the moment, but I will show you that in a moment. So it's just saying the drone's disconnected. So we just come out of that for the moment. Um, and then we go down, so I call it the main box, is what you can see now where you've got uh, new, one of my first missions, my project uh, plan tree location so that's home and then the next one which is like a lightning bolt you just tap on that that's your weird different modes so you got follow orbit now i'll be showing you these how to work these in future videos i just want to give you an idea what you're going to get on the home screen and then you got your uh mission plan you got your droney your map so i can show you the setup for that you just click on the bolt again uh, there's the map and the pano uh, and then we go through photo we we'll to do photos as well and then you can see at the bottom there get started but because I haven't got the drone on yet I'm not going to do that for you but like I said that'll be in future videos uh, and then we can set up the waypoint mission if we want and then you got advanced plans if you want to do a spiral, um, what else have we got? 
Oh, yeah. And then obviously further down for those more advanced people that want to upgrade or pay more for their app, <laughs> you can do with other things. Now, I would say these really for um, guys that have got a job and are using it for their profession. And I'm on about map, map settings and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's where that is. So at the top right, you've got a little cross there. You just click on that. That comes, it brings you back out onto the screen. And then if you notice, we'll just bring that back to home. Okay. And then over here, the bottom right, we've got create. Now this is also where you can do your um, special like waypoints, map, orbit, all these sort of things. I'll just give you an idea. Say, for instance, map. Now, this is, like I said, this is my location where I do a lot of my work before. But I will show you how to use all this in future videos. So if you go up to the top right, click off that, that brings you out. Now, virtually, that's, that's it, virtually on your screen. It's pretty compact. All different layouts to compared to literally in the Maven app. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to connect up my drone um, to drone link just to show you what happens on the dashboard side of it. So I'm just going to plug it in now. Controller on. Okay, it's um, asking me. Allow, yes, I'm allowing access to it. And it was telling me which device I'm going to use the drone link one, obviously. Just the once. Because I like to refer back to my other um, apps as well. Now, what you should see straight away where that dashboard is, is where the drone's going to come on when it's once it's connected. There it is. So now it's gone red. It's also showing me how much battery power I've got. So if I just click on that, that's big screen. So what you're going to notice down in the bottom left-hand corner is the map, and it's by Mapbox. I'll be showing you, telling you a bit more about this in future videos, but to just get the map up, you just press the arrows there. Now you've got a full size of the map, and if you use your two fingers on the screen, um, you can enlarge it to whereabouts the area you are at. If you tap on the screen, that will also enlarge the screen. And if you just put your fingers together, that will make it smaller. Uh, you can also, if you want to have the map at the side there, you just press that. So there you got the map again. Now, if you notice, <laughs> the drone is shown uh, in Africa somewhere for some reason, but I'll explain that later on in a future video. But that just gives you some ideas. You've got the settings there as well. You can reset it, uh, follow the drone, uh, and follow north up. Just come out of that, come back into that one. Uh, and if you don't want the map, you can just knock it off that way. Now, if I come back, make that smaller, so if, if I want to take the drone off, which I can do in here, you will see over in the middle left there is the uh, takeoff. I'll just do a, a quick takeoff. Okay, so the drone's come up. Open awesome, steady. Now I'm just going to bring the drone back a little bit. Okay, bring it down. So anyway, that gives you an idea what you get on your home screen of the Drone Link app. So in the next video, what I'll do is we'll take you through the process of setting up a Waypoint mission.